I'm saying is we have to look forward, not back. I've got nothing to look forward to, Mavis. My future has been wiped out. I look back at what's happened to dissect it, to try to make sense of it. You, you've just got to be positive, Derek. I have great faith in you, you know. Have you, Mavis? Yes, I have. Great faith. And I know you only said those cruel things to me because you were upset. I was upset, Mavis. I still am. I know, I know. But you're right. It's not fair to blame you. Oh, well, I'm glad you realised that. No, it's pointless to blame you for being what you are. Might as well blame the rain for being wet. Just what are you trying to imply, Derek? No, I'm just saying. I know you don't deliberately sabotage my efforts. Uh, might I be right in thinking this is Mr. Wilton's residence? Uh, yes. Oh, splendid. Uh, and, and is he at home? Yes. Oh, splendid yet again. Uh, I'll surprise him. Oh, excuse me. Dirk, met again, old chap. Good Lord, it's... Uh, Norris, Norris Cole. Of course <laughs> it is. What, what a surprise. Exactly what I was saying to your cleaning lady here. Excuse um, me, I'm not the cleaning lady. I'm Mrs Wilton. Uh, yeah, uh, Mavis, this is the gentleman who rescued me on the motorway <laughs> when I was alone, abandoned and forgotten in that benighted <laughs> service station. Norris here played the Good Samaritan. Oh, it was my pleasure entirely. And as you said that night, Dirk, if ever you care to visit a while, feel free. Well, here I am. Oh, there are a thousand apologies, dear lady. I I just assumed you were Dirk's cleaning lady because of what he told me. Do you remember on that long drive north? Uh, yes, yes, that was quite a night, wasn't it? Quite a night. Uh, do you know, Mavis didn't even notice I was no longer on the coach. Oh. You probably find that hard to believe. Well, no, because of my own experience, actually, I find that very easy to believe. Are you married, Mr... Oh, for, for, for the moment, I am, yes. For, for, for the moment. Pardon? You see, you see, Dirk, I, I took your advice very seriously and... And this morning, I, I said to her, quite calmly, you understand, not in passion, enough is enough, as the proverb has it. I said, no more. Do you mean you've left home? Well, as good as, Dirk, yes, as, as good as. But then, you see, I, I, I bethought me of your declaration that night. Any time you're in Weatherfield, Norris, my home is yours. Uh, yes, quite. I see you've got the decorators in. Oh, no, Derek's doing... I know. They've let me down, Norris. No. Left me with a job barely started. A reputable firm, too. Expensive enough. Well, you know what they say, if you want a job doing properly, do it yourself. <laughs> now, that's not a bad idea, Mavis. Might be quite fun to do it ourselves for once. Excuse me, Mrs Wilton, but could you uh, point me in the direction of the little boy's room? Hmm? Oh. Oh, it's at the toilet. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. upstairs, Norris. Turn yeah. left on the landing. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dead. Mavis, this could be a stroke of luck. Norris has some splendid contacts in the business world. Derek. Look, haven't you got to be getting back to the cabin? Just tell me one thing. Why does he keep calling you Dirk? Uh, well, um, I, I don't know. I, I think, I think he could be a touch hard of hearing. Yes, that'll be it. Hard of hearing? Well, in that case, why are we whispering? 